In a previous video, we have covered how to read electrical drawing. Thanks for very positive feedback. Many have asked more details about drawing profession. Today we will talk about more interesting topic. How to create these drawing using CAE slash CAT tools. In previous era, we made electrical drawings using paper, board and pencil. After invention of computers, we adopted CAD computer era drafting software. Traditionally, CAD was still a drafting tool that took a lot of time, efforts and was prone to errors. The latest innovative technology for electrical drawing creation is Advanced CAE, Computer Edit Engineering Software, and it is the leading global technology provider in this field. Creating electrical drawing was a difficult task, but ePlan made it so easy. ePlan is a database-driven software with inbuilt samples libraries as per international standards like IEC and NFPA slash NEMA and the parse database of different product manufacturers that you might be using on day-to-day -day basis, such as Siemens, ABB, Schneider, Phoenix Contact, Eaton, GE, Rockwell, and 400 plus manufacturers. In this video, we will talk about how to draw electrical drawing using ePlan software. We will create simple drawing, which we have seen in earlier video with DOL and forward and reverse motor starters. Along with that, we will also discuss about panel layout and report generation. Now let's get into each area or each section one by one. First of all, let's go to the page title. You can see here title page. This title page contains company details, project name, manufacturer detail, job number, etc. You can edit it as per your project details. Then we have AC or incoming power supply. When we make electrical drawing in ePlan, we use macro technology, wherein we directly insert macro into our drawing. So in a similar fashion, let me go ahead and show you how I can insert main power supply. Click on insert center, then click windows macros, drag main supply macro into your drawing area. As you can see here, you got everything you need for power supply drawing. You can customize it as you like. That's the beauty of macro technology or block technology. Let me zoom it and explain further. This is our breaker. If you click on that, you will find this is ABB part number. This is ABB breaker. This particular part number with 80 ampere circuit breaker. I can insert 32 ampere ABB breaker here directly from the parts database. Lines are connected automatically. It is a smart connection. Now let's go ahead and talk further about DC supply section. Now let's go ahead and place some DC supply, which is essentially the converter rectifier from AC to DC. So we have our DC macro here. Let me insert that macro. Here we are using Phoenix contact power supply, which is converting three phase AC into 24 volt DC with 10 impairs output. Power supply input is three phase power and output is DC. You can see here we have some sockets for 230. You might be wondering why these sockets. These sockets are normally used by PLC DCS SCADA programmers for their laptop charging purpose. Now let's go ahead and take our example of a motor circuit. So before placing my motor circuit, let me take three phase power supply line macro this supply line is coming from the previous page. If you click, it will jump to this cross reference function. You can see that the, it is coming from the breaker. From here, we can jump back to this page. And then we want to go ahead and insert our motor starter macro. This macro is DOL type of motor starter. If we change a variant, we have a forward and reverse starter. Again, if you change a variant, you can see now we have a star and delta variant. So in short, same macro can have a different variant for different use cases. Similarly, we can have a micro variants for soft starter and VFTs. Let me take normal DOL starter variant. As soon as you place it into your drawing area, it will ask you what is the rating of a motor. We will select type two coordination table. 
which is provided by different vendors like ABB, Siemens, Schneider, etc. Let me explain you what is type 2 coordination if in the case you are wondering what it is. Type 2 coordination requires that in a short circuit condition, the contactor or starter must not present any danger to the personals or installations and must subsequently be able to resume the operation. I'm selecting 0.75 for a DOL starter here. Next, as you remember, as per our video that we have reading electrical drawing, I want another starter for forward and reverse. This time, let's select 5.5 rating for 5.5 kilowatt motor. So as soon as we place that, you can see more motor ratings are updated. The cable sides are updated. Contact details, breaker details, all of these details are automatically updated, including the part numbers and accessories. Based on that, your reports and bill of material will also be automatically updated. You can of course create your own macro or block. It is completely open platforms. Moving ahead, now we will create control circuit for DOL starter. Let me drag and drop macro for control circuit of DOL starter. So this is DOL starter with contactor K1 and there is a latching here for the start push button. Now let me bring forward and reverse motor control circuit. Zoom it a bit. We have our forward contactor and a reverse contractor with interlocking for each contactor. To make sure if motor is running in a forward direction, it should not be able to run in a reverse direction and vice versa. All cross references for NO and NCR are automatically updated. If you want to see any, I can simply click on that. It will take me to the contactor where it is used in a drawing. Again from here, you can jump back to the previous control drawing by clicking here. In short, everything is interconnected. You can see this is a DC power supply. If you click here, you can see it is coming from here, this DC power supply and this particular supply line. You can also see what's the detail of Siemens push button. This is the part number. All this information is also updated to bill of materials and other reports. Let me go ahead and talk further about general arrangement or panel layouts. That's where you will draw a drawing for your panel. Let me insert a panel in Cloyer. Now, all components we can drag and drop from 2D Panel Layout Navigator. Here it shows list of all devices, what are the parts which are used in the drawing, automatically it will appear here. Place them into our panel layout. Based on this, now you can generate reports. For that, you have to go to Tools, and then generate. One of the report we need is Enclosure Legend. We can go ahead and select Enclosure Legend report. Place it into the same page as panel layout. It shows all components, breakers, sockets, contactors, and all other complete details. Then we also need to generate different type of reports like index, bill of material, terminal diagram, all is completely automated in ePlan with one click. All you need is click on generate report, boom. Your all reports are ready. Let's see one by one. First is your index report. It shows page number and description dates, review number, etc. Let's go to the BOM or bill of material. It lists all bill of material based on vendors. And then we have symbol overview which contains different symbols used, part number and also cross reference. If, if you click on it, it will jump you to the reference page. And the next one is cable details. It contains cable details, colors, where it is connected and its cross reference information is also here. Then we have a terminal diagram. It shows different connection from where to where it is connected. Here also we have a cross reference and then we have a complete wire list which shows wire numbers, source information, target information, color, size of the wire. Now you got all you need. Now you can export these report into the format you want. You can export project also in different formats like 
DXF picture or PDF. As you have learned already how easy it is to use ePlan software to create your drawings by just drag and drop. For more details you can visit ePlan website. Website link is provided into the screen as well. We would have amazing content similar to that. We will draw different drawings in coming sessions. For that all you need is subscribe this YouTube channel, turn your notification on and if you like this video hit the like button. Until next video take care and bye bye.